Council is also important to alert proponents, yet there appears to be no related information from Council on this. In the current review to update this Protection Act, a proponent seeking an assessment on their development will now be asked to contribute payment to that assessment. The 7B has the highest bush fire zone rating. The fire storm of 10 years ago caused chaos with people trying to get out of commentary. Population has increased in the last 10 years. Further residential development within the 7B will bring at least a net of 1,000 or so vehicle movements a day. Add that to people escaping bushfires. 7B slopes down the bushfire and racer. I bought within the residential zone. Several thousand people legally supported 7B to E2, but this was changed to E3 without public consultation by council. A corruption of the legal process. I expect the effect that 7B landowners Owners, owners are here tonight to fully explain why they did not buy in the residential existing use zone. Both Liberal and Labor parties have previously stated the 7B land will not be developed. The only tragic story here would be the loss of a happy river protected environment to land speculators, and that's all it is in the end. There should be a Royal Commission. <laughs>